Hello everyone, you are welcome once again to this uh, Word of God section. Um, we will be talking about, teaching about believers being the salt and the light of this world. As we are about to go through this, let us pray. Father, I thank you once again. We are going into your word, speak your mind to us. Let it be a word of edification to encourage us to live for you. Thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Once again, we all welcome to another session of the Word of God. As you can see on the screen, the believers are the salt and the light of this world. So, we are taking a Bible reading from the book of Matthew chapter 5 from verse 13 to 15. Believers are the salt and the light of this world. Let's start from this particular information that we have seen in the Bible. I read verse 13. You are the light of the earth. But if the salt loses its flavor, how shall they be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled on the food by them. For instance, you are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. 15 says, Nor do they light a lamp and put it on the basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives its light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. This is what we want to look at this morning briefly. And I know the Lord will speak His mind to us. We are told that you are the salt of the earth. When you look at this particular statement, that is talking about functions. Believer as the salt of the heart. What is the purpose of salt? The salt can be used as a medium of preservation. Even when we look through the information about the history of salt, it will marvel you what you are going to see. Let's go through this. As you can see, we're talking about salt here. Let's see the history of salt. Here you can see salt is referred as a stable salt and of a chemical sodium chloride. You can see the picture over it here. The picture of salt. And where is got it from? From the sea. But most importantly about this history of salt that is used. It has been used by humans for thousands of years from food preservation and seasoning. You can see, salt ability to preserve food and we found contributed to the development of civilization. So when you talk about salt, is a, is a long time historical uh, finding and it has been a way by which people have been surviving all this while. For food, look another one. History. Ancient world. Look this particular place so that you know that when you talk about this salt, <laughs> it has a very significant during the time of Jesus when he was speaking this word to us. And we are the recipient of this word today as a believer. See, Salt is of high value. This is where I'm reading. Salt is of high value to the Jews, Greek, Ta Tamils, Chinese, Hittites, and the people of antiquity. Aside from the contribution factor in the development of civilization, salt is also used in the military practice of salting the heart by various people, beginning with the Assyrian. Can you see long time ago? 
in the early years of the Roman Republic. With the growth of the city of Rome, roads were built to make transportation of sort to the capital city easier. Can you see? Sort as a wonderful, wonderful way uh, that they are being used. It's a very high commodity, very good commodity. It's very, very precious. Look this place also. Cities and wealth. Sort as display a prominent role in determining the power and location of the world's greatest cities. Can you see that? <laughs> Liverpool rose from just small English port to become the prime exporting port for the salt dog in the streets. Shiren, salt mine, and toss became the entry port for much of the world's salt in the 19th century. See? It has an effect into our own world today. Now, you can see. Sword created and destroyed empire. Can you see that? Can you see the power of sword? So, when Jesus is now talking about that you are the sword of the earth, that gives you a clue of what Jesus is talking about. Doing his own time is of high value. It creates empire. It has a power also to destroy. So let's see now. Let us read now with understanding. You are the salt of the heart. A commodity that is needed widely for a nation to survive. To have a super nation. Powerful nation. So if Jesus is calling you the salt of the heart, he's telling you your function. You are not just a believer that just got saved by faith alone in Christ alone. You have a function to play. What is the function of the son? For preservation, for tasting. They use it for power. To get power, to create wealth. And Jesus sees you as that commodity in his hand to affect our world. So you are the sort of this earth. Of this current world we are. You are the son. God has given us the grace to be his children. As an ambassador for Christ, you are the salt of the world. Ambassador doesn't behave like every average people. They have code of conduct because they are very, very important to their nation. Representing their nation in a foreign place. Believer, we are representing Jesus Christ in this world. This is not our world. This is not our, our, our resident place. We are only here as a foreigner, but to display the goodness of God, to display the mercy of God, to display the grace of God. You are the sort of God. I am the sort of the heart. God has brought us for a purpose. He saved us for a purpose. And what is that purpose? To glorify Him. You are the sort of the heart. But if the sort loses its flavor, that's a question mark. You can see where I showed you previously. The salt has a very powerful usage in the in the ancient world. Salt is used to, to, to play a prominent role in determining the power and location of the world great cities. Salt was